there are a couple different ways that we here at the Birmingham Museum get the objects that tell us about what life was like in Birmingham in the past. One of these is archaeology, and sometimes the archaeology is purposeful. People go out and dig to find evidence of how people lived in the past. But sometimes we find these objects during construction projects, and the construction workers will bring them to us. We had two major construction projects going on around the museum in the last couple of years. One of them, the Woodwork Reconstruction Project, and the other, the Reconstruction Project of Maple Road. And right outside the museum, we found this bottle. Now, it is a little dirty because the bottle is in very fragile condition, and if we cleaned it, we might actually break it more or even rub off this part of the label here. And this label tells us when this bottle was made and what it once held. So this was a Pepsi bottle that had Pepsi Cola in it. And from the shape of the bottle and the label, we can tell that this bottle of Pepsi was sold in the 1940s or very early in the 1950s. So even 70 years ago in Birmingham, someone was walking down the street drinking pop. Pepsi is even older than that though. It was originally created in 1893 and it gets its name from the peptides in the pop that the inventor thought would help people digest food better. So it was actually marketed and sold as a health food Try finding a doctor nowadays that would recommend you drink a lot of pop as a health food. You probably wouldn't be able to find that very easily. And so that tells us what people were possibly drinking in the past. We're not quite sure how it got underneath Maple Road. It could have been someone was littering, which isn't great. Um, but it also could have fallen out of someone's shopping bag on their way home from the grocery store. And this next artifact tells us about how people got around in the past, especially underneath Old Woodward, which is where this spike was found. Now, before cars ruled the roads in Birmingham, so before about the 1920s, you had several different options for getting around town. One was horsepower, either riding a horse or going in a carriage or a wagon but the most popular was going by rail. Um, there were railroads connecting Detroit to Pontiac, all the little communities in between, and you could get anywhere in the country by railroad. And it was cheap and it was fast. And so right down Old Woodward Avenue was actually a rail line. And this was a light rail line. So it wasn't like those big freight trains that you'll see carrying everything from oil to cows, to lumber, but this was a rail car that people were using to get to Detroit to go shopping, or up to Royal Oak to visit their friends, or going to school up in Pontiac. So it was mostly people riding these rail lines, and that's why this railroad spike is a little bit shorter than you might see on a big freight line today. So it's not all that long, and you can see it's pretty rusted. It was underneath the road, um, so you know there was a lot of water and a lot of moisture down there. And as we know, a lot of metals rust like this over time. So this is something else that we got in those excavations, and we're really happy to have it because it does tell us a lot about how people got around in the past, especially in downtown Birmingham. So while we don't encourage anyone to go into construction sites to see what they can find, if you're ever walking past one, be on the lookout. You might see something really, really cool. Or even if you're digging in your own backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So it's always fun to just pay attention and you might find something really, really cool.